Good morning. My hatch alarm has been going off. I need to get up. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing an unfiltered, unedited day in my life. I have a very busy day um, doing lots of different things, so I thought it'd be a fun day to take you guys along. I need to turn on my lights so I get up at 6.45. And we're going to start the day with Pilates because I honestly haven't worked out in over a week. Ah, my phone. Ugh. But, yeah, today's kind of like a work day in the life. Doing lots of things. So first we need some coffee. Let's get up. Went to bed before... 10 p.m. last night, which is a win. Well, should I say I got in bed before 10 p.m., which was a win. And then I read a little bit and went to sleep. I was like, I'm getting up early. I need to not go to bed super late. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen these videos I do before, I do not make edits to these videos. I purely just take a ton of clips and I put them together. Um, so, yeah, it's not the most aesthetic of videos, but it's very real. <laughs> I have 15 minutes to get ready and walk to New York Pilates. It's raining and 42 degrees, which is just not a nice morning. I slept clearly good if my hair looks like this. Oh, I'm so dramatic, but that first sip of coffee just always hits. Um, but I'm a morning workout person. If I don't work out in the morning, I'm not going to do it. And today I have stuff back to back. Um, so I was like, you know what? I need to get some movement in. I'm traveling again tomorrow for a wedding. I feel like March and April have been big travel months for me. Yeah, that's right. I just made my bed. You guys know I do the whole make your bed while your coffee's being made. It really works. I just got pink in here. Um, I think I'm going to put on this workout set. It's from Sculpt Society. It's like this really pretty blue color. Um, I'm going to put it on now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Um, and there's also this matching sweatshirt. So funny because I am not doing a Sculpt Society workout right now. They don't have like an in-person studio. Sometimes I work out with the instructors. But we're going to New York Pilates, so... Maybe I'll add a white tank top as well, just for safekeeping. <laughs> Here's the set on. It's so cute. They actually just came out with these, and I love how high-waisted the leggings are. They fit really nicely. I am going to throw on this little tank top. It's from Madewell. I love it. I just find that I'm more comfortable sometimes wearing a tank top as well. And then for added warmth, I'm gonna put on this Sculpt Society sweatshirt. And then also, we're gonna have to do a puffer with a hood because it's raining. And then I need my Pilates socks. I really don't like to do workouts without Pilates socks. Pilates socks have like the little grippy on the bottom. And I also need to do my hair. Wait, look how cute, a little all blue moment. We're in the bathroom now. I'm kind of like vibing with the hair actually, the more I'm just like, yeah. But um, I need it out of my face, so we've got two hair ties here. Um, I've been into doing TBT to top knots, um, where you would do like a high bun on the top of your head. I'm not saying, I don't know what I'm saying, but I have been liking doing them for workouts, especially for something like Pilates where you're constantly maybe laying on your back and stuff. If you do a bun that's back here, you just have to keep taking it out. So what's the point? I'm putting some Divi, ooh, just fell down. Divi scalp serum. Um, everyone's been saying my hair has been growing. I do believe it has. I mean, right now it doesn't look that long because it's wavy, but when my hair is straight, it's so long. And I think it's because I've been using scalp serum. I've been using Bondi Boost shampoo and conditioner and then i've been taking neutrophil every single day like it's part of my ritual so i do believe that helps but yeah i'm just gonna kind of do a slick back bun but closer to the top of my head because 
it's just more comfortable. Like I can't even travel with a slick back bun cause like on a plane, your bun just hits the back of your seat and you're uncomfortable. So I'm here for the ballerina bun when I can. Because sometimes you just want your hair out of your face. Like yesterday I took the train. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was, a, I was a little Long Island girly for the day. It was so nice actually. It's really just peaceful. Um, and I was like, I can't do a slick back bun because I know stupid, silly things, but it changes your life. It's fun to be comfortable. Um, okay, so there's one, high, high ponytail, TBT to like spin instructor Danny. Um, if you guys didn't know, I was a spin instructor in college. And then I'm doing another hair tie, just like that. Nothing crazy. Need another sippy. Oh my gosh, deodorant. I didn't put on deodorant. Not that I sweat that much in Pilates, that's also why I like it. Um, but yeah, just to be nice to the people around me and then I feel like I need my, my aunt got me this for Easter. It's so perfect. It's for travel. And since I'm traveling tomorrow, I just haven't unpacked it. It's, I think she got it literally on Amazon from this brand. E-A-C-H-Y. Um, but on one side I have skincare, the other side I have hair stuff. But uh, I'm just gonna use some cold press peel pads. My favorite stuff ever. And then put on a little like skin fix barrier serum. And then honestly, that's enough for now because I'm just gonna come back and shower and wash my hair. Um, but yeah, we have lots of fun things we're doing today. Filming AM Uncovered. Um, I have therapy. <laughs> I am going to record the podcast with Brooke. I'm going to an event tonight with Steve Madden where we're going to get to customize our own cowboy boots, which is perfect because I'm going to Stagecoach. And I haven't even said this, but I'm also going to Jackson Hole with some college friends next month. So I feel like cowboy boots are needed in my future and customized ones at that sound really fun. So, okay, skincare's done. Let's pack the bag, bring some water. Obviously, just gonna bring my AirPods and then wallet. Really don't need much, I'm literally coming right back, but you always like to be prepared. Just put on a little lip balm because I feel like my lips are dry. And I'll grab a jacket on the way out. I Hope I'm not forgetting anything. I feel like I haven't worked out. I literally haven't gone to a proper workout class since I was in LA at a Pilates studio. So that's where we're at. I regret not bringing my AirPod Maxes because they kind of serve as uh, earmuffs. And now I'm cold. It's just a little windy. But I do love New York. I love the hustle and the bustle. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so annoying. I'm like, Romanticized, rainy New York City, but it's okay. I can't believe it's April and I'm still in a pepper jacket, <laughs> but April showers bring me flowers, so hopes are high. We the city. I'm so glad I went. I stopped at Starbucks on my way back to get just a little breakfast sandwich. I had no groceries. Just the constant rotation of 
not having groceries because I'm traveling all the time. Um, I'm going to a wedding this weekend. I forgot if I said that earlier. Turkey bacon and cheddar sandwich or whatever this is. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Showered, put on this skim sweat set. Washed my hair, feels so good. I don't wanna go back outside, but I did book a dry bar appointment. You guys, if you know, you know, I, I do this all the time. I will wash my hair and then I will go to the dry bar and have them blow it out because their products sometimes make my head a little not, or my scalp doesn't really like it. It gets really dry and I love all my products and I'm in my hair growth journey. Um, but we have a very big day, lots of, I keep saying that, but I, I more so, I mean, I'm on camera a lot today, so I want my, like, go-to blowout, so, um, I'm gonna brush my hair, put up some leave-in conditioner really quick, and we're gonna go, I'm only there for, like, 25, 30 minutes because I already come with my hair washed. It's sad because I do love when they, like, wash your hair, but I find that my hair, my scalp really thanks me <laughs> if I wash my hair at home, so I'm gonna go do that, and then we're gonna come back and get ready. Okay, I'm gonna head to dry bar now, but like, can you guys tell how long my hair is? Like, it used to be like here. Like, it's long. Okay, bye. <laughs> Blowout is done. I'm so obsessed. The key is with dry bar, you have to either have a very specific directions and or show them photos. I do both. I was like, I do not want hot tools. I just want blow dryer, rounded in ends, sleek, a little volume up top, not too much. She did a great job. And I just got Juice Generation. Mm. It's so good. I have therapy. Thanks so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited for therapy today, as I always am. Um, I do it through online, which is so nice. I, yeah. I just love that it's a rainy day and I can sit here in the comfort of my own home on my computer and meet with my therapist. It's seriously so special and I always will promote therapy. I feel like it's so important. Even if you feel like nothing super crazy is going on in your life, it's so crazy what you hold down and you don't even realize. And then my therapist will ask me one question. I'm like, oh yeah, actually there is some, some trauma there or yeah, that it actually did bother me. And I think it's been subconsciously affecting the way I'm doing my day, which is so crazy. Um, so first you go to their site it's totally easy. You will go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn and you complete a quiz and then you'll be matched with a licensed therapist within 48 hours. And if you do your first session and you're like, I am not vibing, that is 100% okay. They will find you a new therapist, no additional charge, which I think is so great because they want you to succeed. They want you to enjoy the experience. Um, so I am always a proponent of better help, always a proponent of therapy. It's seriously so important. Like I, there's some people in my life that I'm like, I wish you would go. And it's just, I went a few times in high school in person and I, it was helpful for sure. Therapy is always so helpful and it was so helpful in person, but I couldn't find, I found that I wasn't going as consistently because I was like, oh, I don't want to drive there. I don't want to go. It's just like so lazy. But um, now that I have it on my computer, it's so nice. And um, you can also message them or just talk on the phone if you prefer. So there are just so many amazing ways. So thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. And I'll have the link down below, but it's just betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn to take the quiz and check it all out. So now I'm going to go on therapy and um, also if you use my link you get a special discount. So I'm gonna hop on, talk to my girl, and I'll be feeling refreshed after. So, pause. I'm just talking to my girl, Alexa. Um, doing the makeup. I don't have a spray tan right now or any sort of self tan on, which is always just so hard for me, foundation-wise. Brooke and I always talk about this on the podcast, like, you just make it work. Like, I, I feel like I have my spray tan shade in makeup, but for some reason, I have this, which is super pale, so I have to add a little of a darker foundation, but then I still feel like, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad on this camera, so we'll go with it. I'm trying to decide if I wanna wear eyeliner today. I think I do. Um, I'll just put a roller in my hair because it helps keep the hair out of my face, but also it gives my hair just even more volume because it is a little humid today because it's pouring rain. I don't know if I already said that. I mean, you guys knew it was raining. Um, therapy was fabo, didn't cry, 
I don't always cry on therapy. It's more of just like a sigh of relief, really. Um, I'm squeezing out every last ounce of therapy with my girl because she is retiring. She told me in May and she was like, well, really, it's at the end of this month. And I'm like, oh, so, but it's okay because BetterHelp will help me get matched with a licensed therapist. Um, okay, I shouldn't have done eyeliner while talking because it kind of sucks, but I've just been using brown eyeliner and I really like it. That one is from Stila. So yeah, I'm getting ready to film AM Uncovered. I'm so excited I'm filming with Cindy Ramirez. She is the founder of Chill House. If you're familiar, they obviously have like a spa here in New York. And then they also have products. Like they were really well known for their press on nails. They have the coolest designs. They also have like a nail salon here. And they also just have a ton of other great products. They have saunas. I go to their saunas a lot. Um, but she's really cool. I think she lives in Miami and New York. So she, we're filming in her New York apartment today, which I'm really excited about. This Tarte tubing mascara, I gotta say, is really good. I've actually been using a lot of Tarte products recently. And no, it, I'm not trying to, like, get invited on Bora Bora trip. I mean, I wouldn't hate it. But, um, they recently sent me a good old PR package with all these products. I'll show you in a second. I'm obsessed. But, okay, deep breaths, Danielle. <laughs> Just mentally preparing. Days that I'm on camera a lot all day, I just kind of like, you gotta charge up your social battery. But I'm really excited to podcast today because I haven't seen Brooke since we were in Miami together and she's now back from a cruise. So I can't wait to like hear all about it and do the proper recap on the podcast, which is always our favorite thing to do. Um, these are the other Tarte products I have on right now. Park F Princess. You guys remember this bronzer? It's really good with this brush they sent me. I use the angled brush for bronzer. And then this, this kind of reminds me of the hourglass thing. This is the Shape Tape Glow Blush Bar. And I kind of just mix these two blushes together. And then I use this highlight. So I'm kind of just a tart girly today. I feel like I need a little bit more powder on my forehead, especially on camera. But yeah, filming, I am uncovered, and then I'll be able to come home for a sec. I have to film a campaign and then gonna change go record the podcast and I'm going to an event with Steve Madden tonight. I'm so excited we get to customize our own cowboy boots, which is perfect because I'm going to stagecoach very soon and always could use some cowboy boots. Sephora sale is, I think it's happening as this video goes up and I need to purchase more of this. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. <sighs> Oh, I was so nervous it was going to ruin my mascara, but it did not. For the most part, it did not. She prevails. Um, I always keep a little hand sanitizer on my vanity. Um, for recording today, I have to go prep the rest of my outfit. I have no pants on right now, transparently. But this is a vintage YSL men's button down. It like says YSL in like little corners. Um, from, I have to tell you guys the name, West Village Vintage, I want to say. Hold on on the West Village Vintage. Yeah, they have really cool stuff. I know Brooke and Katie have gotten stuff from them too. Um, I have this one girl in my DMs that just always is so mean to me and I don't know why I just can't block her. Like she is so funny because sometimes she'll say nice things if you've been to the live shows, you know, but she just DM'd me today and she goes, these are so ugly <laughs> about shoes that I posted. But like, I don't know why I can't block her because she's just been around for so long that I'm like, you're kind of a fan. Like you're, you clearly watch all my stuff. Um, so if you're watching this, you know who you are. And I, I look forward to your DMs all the time. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even finish my smoothie. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, here's where we're at with the fit. Whenever I film I Am Uncovered, I find myself wanting to dress more like Professional. I don't know why, because I'm trying to dress simple, because they're usually in their pajamas. Anyways, no, it's giving school uniform, I feel like. I think I need to take off the belt, maybe. This is like also a terrible angle, I swear. I feel like it's cuter in the mirror. Hold on. Maybe not. See, here I think it's cute. I also, these pants are far too long, so if I had heels on, but usually I take my shoes off. Um. 
you know, I want it to work, but like what is happening here? I hate, this is like the problem with my, this area is that it always bunches up like this and then it looks like I have a crotch. So, I mean I do, we all have crotch, you know what I mean? So, I have to change the pants. Okay. I love this. I don't know if I like the, the light blue jeans. <sighs> it's just one of those days, but I love the top half. Like I kept the top on, layered it with a blazer, added this dark brown belt, but I feel like the jeans are too light. I wonder if I did a darker jean, if that would help. My pants are all like combined in here and I can't always tell those are skinny jeans. Those only come out every now and then. These look like, what are these? Okay, these could work. What are these though? Oh no, those are the Citizens of Humanity horseshoe jeans. That would be a lot going on. You guys are like, all right, Danielle, figure it out. Okay, here's more dark jeans. Um, What are these? Hudson, okay, I'll try these. Okay, love the darker jean. But now I'm wondering, should I try this again? <laughs> Where I take off the blazer and tuck this shirt into the jeans and add a belt? Like, what do we think? There's a lot going on. Ah! Okay, this is it. This is it. I'm gonna add a brown boot. I took off the choker because it just wasn't the vibe with this type of outfit. I feel like this is more of a classic outfit. Um, button down, I switched to the horseshoe jeans because I took off the blazer, added this belt from Orium. These horseshoe jeans are from Citizens of Humanity. I love them. They literally are so cool to me. Um, and then I just have on these cool earrings. Obviously, we'll take my hair out of the roller and then I'm gonna wear do 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 do. Let's go here. It's a little messy in here. I'm gonna wear these boots to tie in the belt. And you probably won't even see my shoes in the shop, but people in person will see it. Um, oh my gosh, it's a mess in here. Yay. I finally got an outfit. Oh my gosh, that took a minute. Here is the final outfit all together. Took my hair out of the rollers. Gonna pop on probably my puffer, so it will not go well at all with this outfit, but it just needs to happen. Let's get to the day started. I feel like I've been getting ready forever. So good. Yeah, this looks so cute. Crushing. We are back. Woo! That was a great episode. It was so fun because we went to Chill House. Um, because she founded it and you guys know how much I love that place. So it was really fun. She sent me home with a candle because I was I love every time I walk into Chill House. It smells so good. She gave me this one, which I haven't tried. This is called Meet Me in the Lobby. And she said it's inspired by like Soho Hotel lobbies. Oh my God, yeah. It's kind of giving one hotel. And then I went next door to this place called The Mill and got a spinach wrap because I'm famished. I need lunch because now it's two o'clock and I have about an hour until I leave to go to the studio because I'm recording the podcast. But yeah, I get turkey, lettuce, tomato, red onion, provolone cheese, and then oil and vinegar. Alexa, Spotify, Poolside Lounge. Songs by Poolside Lounge. Fun fact, I really just love this playlist. Any time of the year, it's just good beats and bops for when I'm working. Um, I just realized since I ate, I didn't take my supplements this morning. What day of the week is it? Wednesday. <laughs> I'm like, ah, pre-filled, ready for me to take. I've had this water but The music isn't playing. Oh yes, it is. It's just super low, which is good for copyright. I take so many pills when Brooke, or they're not pills, they're like supplements. Um, when Brooke sees this, she's like, you're crazy. Um, all right, down her hand. I do my little chin tuck, that's what my dad tells me to do. Since I live alone, I don't want to choke. Oh, I dropped one. Ah, one more. Three second roll. Ah. Sorry, you guys had to see that. I just remembered I can't edit this, so, hey. Um, I just filmed 
some little videos about the Sephora sale. So I'm going to edit them. I actually edit them on my computer because I, I, I edit on my phone, but I love to edit short form stuff on my computer. I think it's the YouTuber in me. I just prefer it. I feel more comfortable with it. My Wow, my apartment's a mess behind me, but what's new? <laughs> I just got some pieces in from Fashion Pass. I rent from them and I'm going to a wedding this weekend. I have another dress, but I also rented this one in case, except I think I need to call the hotel and see if they, I mean, I'm gonna assume they have an iron or steamer or something. This is just like so me. It's a beautiful brown color. Actually, the ruffles are not very me. Um, but I love this waistband right here and I love the brown, but it's like literally even if I ironed it or steamed it here It won't be good and I wanted to carry on I wanted to be a carry-on bag girly this weekend So I'm not sure. Um, but I love this. I don't even remember what brand this is from but it's really cute And then I'm also gonna try on the outfit that I I think the other one is the dress I'm gonna wear but I brought this one just in case like at the welcome party I'm talking to the other girlies and they're wearing something you know what I mean? Like when you start talking to people and you're like, oh my gosh, my dress is not that vibe. I don't know why, I just get nervous. So here's dress number one. It's very cute, like with some necklaces here. Is this too low cut? I feel like not, I don't know. Oh. Okay, this is the other dress, but last time I tried it on, it was higher up. Like look how fun this is. It's from the brand Ackler. I just love how it drapes down into this pleated moment. I wonder if I just need to mess around with the ties in the back because that simply will not work for dancing. Maybe the other one is better. And remember, I'm gonna have a spray tan. I'm gonna wear my clip-in extensions with some heels. Like, this is so stunning, but I need to figure out why. Like, I can't untie these ties, I don't know why. So, anyways, I just realized what time it is. I need to get ready for the podcast, but I wanted to try these on before I got a spray tan to make sure I like it. It's still raining, um, but here is the outfit for podcasting. I was gonna dress cuter, but it's just raining and I'm taking the train. So same jeans, just throw on this sweater from, I got it on Shop Bop a while ago when I went to Nantucket. And then I just popped on these booties because from podcasting, I'm gonna go to an event with Steve Madden, like I was saying, and I need to add a lip. <sighs> so today's, I'm gonna be in like a thousand different outfits today, okay? I'm not changing for Steve Madden though, I am wearing this. Here I go, back into the rain. Today is like the worst day to be on the go so much because it's disgusting out, but umbrellas change the world, you know? I really, I wonder if there's umbrellas that like go all the way down, like almost to your feet so your outfit doesn't get wet, but it's okay. The only problem with this jacket is the shoulder pad, so it's like, my bag's always a little wonky there, but uh, all right. I'm excited to pod, so let's go. Local train, the next stop is 23rd Street. <laughs> it is so windy and miserable. Like the rain is blowing. Oh my god. Look who's in the chair. We're here, we're ready, we've got our, our dads. I'm oh, so excited. Good. Gals are sponsored yes. by Mom and Dad Water, which is a dream for us because the gals love mom water. And now they have dad water too, which is tequila. So Brooke will be drinking that because I don't drink tequila. But these are like all new flavors and I'm literally so Taste excited. Not Taste carbonated, us. not offensive. Nope. We're good. It's so good. It like doesn't upset my stomach. Like this vlog isn't sponsored by mom water, but we do love them. So we're about to record. The monitor there. My hair got completely ruined. It's fine. Brooke and I just finished recording. Honestly, got a little tipsy. It was so fun. We drank some mom waters, or one, not even a full one. Um, then we took the train downtown because I'm going to this event with Steve Madden. And I'm like, every time I get in the train, I'm like, when I get out, it won't be raining anymore. We come out of the train. It's pouring even harder. I'm pulling up to this event looking like a weirdo. I'm like so disheveled, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my cowboy boots and then go home. I need those. We 
your home. Social battery is negative right now, honestly. Um, I just cracked open. This is not beer, liquid death. Because sparkling water calms me down. I just like, I knew today was gonna be a big long day. It's not like I did all these crazy things, but it's like everything I did today was with other people. Um, maybe not some of my closest friends other than with Brooke for the podcast, obviously, but it's just lots of exerting myself. And then like going from place to place in the rain in the city is just not as ideal. Like I didn't even try to take a car because there was so much traffic. So I was like training from place to place and then like walking because like the trains were just so crazy. Um, and I was in heels and I was just disheveled. I'm like, I'm not complaining, but I am complaining. It was just when it rains in New York city, it's just even crazier. Cause most people around here walk or like take the train and stuff. So you just like, I showed up to the Steve Madden event soaking wet, um, but it was good. I got to catch up with some people there, but then I was like, oh, I, something happened. I was like, I have to go home right now. So I literally took a hot shower. My brother called me sweet boy just to catch up. And we talked the other day, but I was, I was kind of talking and he was like, you sound like you just need a minute alone. I was like, yeah, I have nothing to give. Like, I didn't even, I don't even have energy to be like, how are you? Like, I just, I I, would, or I mean, I did. I was like, how are you? But then that was kind of, I didn't have much energy to give him back. I don't know. I'm sure you guys relate on some of those days if you like get back from a long day out. Um, it's all good things. It was such a great day, but um, I'm happy to be home in my sanctuary. I just lit a candle and I do have one more task to leave my apartment and I'm just like, and it's a stupid thing. I mean, I'm just getting a spray tan, but like I need a spray tan for this wedding. I love to have a tan, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm going to sugared and bronzed. So that's, um, they're not like coming here. Oh, this is all stupid problems I'm aware. Okay, I'm just complaining and I have to pack. All good things. Again, it's all great problems to have. I'm just like, I'm gonna turn off the camera now. I don't know when I'm gonna stop listening to Drake. It's like, I know you guys are probably so sick of me talking about him. His music is just so good. Um, okay, so it's pouring rain outside, as you know. So we're gonna play a little game of what did, does Danielle have in her fridge that she can make? I have like no protein. I just have, but actually, I think I can make something work. So, you guys remember from a couple vlogs ago, I bought broccoli and peas frozen because I knew there'd be a time like this. I kind of want peas. I go for peas and then I have this rice from Whole Foods that you just heat up. Also huge, exciting purchase. I finally bought a microwave cover. Did you know you could just buy one of these on Amazon? My aunt had one. When I was visiting her on Long Island, it's so nice because it helps with like splattering or whenever they say like cover it and I always like take another plate or a paper towel. I'm just gonna leave this in my microwave and then it, this is perfect. It's like $7 on Amazon, just like those little life improvements. And then let's see if I have any, yep, beans. We're gonna go, so we're just gonna do rice, beans, and peas. I don't hate it. It looks so good right now. This is so funny, but it's gonna work. We got black beans, peas, and rice. I'm gonna mix it all, not mix it all together, but I'm gonna make a little bowl and I'll have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Dinner is served. You guys are probably cringing right now. I am now tan and I am now happy. And now, alas, I am in for the night, feeling so much better already with the tan. Um, so much for getting my hair done today. I did not realize like it was gonna be raining like that. But I think tomorrow I'm gonna attempt to do the like uh, updo, the messy tussled updo look that I've always been trying. Oh, this is perfect for that. Oh my God. I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. It's 10.45 and oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! Fun fact, I love to sneeze. Um, anyways, I feel like you guys have had enough of me. I feel like this vlog is probably so long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much. Let me know if you want more unedited vlogs. I find them so fun to film and you guys love them. So I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye.